So a nice feature that the WinExcel program offers is the ability to open up template spreadsheets. So if you have an existing spreadsheet with conditional formatting or equations already set up, you can single send the data to that spreadsheet. So once you've connected the MagnaMic to the WinExcel through either USB or RS-232 and established communication, you can click File and then Close to close the current spreadsheet. And then you can either click here, which will be a open file, or likewise, you can click file and then open. So then you can navigate to where your template spreadsheet's located. I saved an example template on my desktop. I'm gonna open that. So here I have some user-defined cells in gray. I also did some equations to determine the average and the minimum for each bottle. I also did conditional formatting to color code the grid. So there's two ways of sending the data. You can either single send it to the active cell and choose how you want it to increment, or you can set up grid space settings. So I'll show you both ways. The first way is gonna be the single send to active. So if you choose single send setup, single send to active cell, and then I'm gonna choose increment by row so I'm going to do all five points on bottle A first. So click that. And then you can click in the cell. So then if you take your thickness reading and press the single send key, you're going to be prompted to choose to either open a new Excel sheet or use the existing. So I want to use the template that I created. So I'm going to choose no. So it sends the data. I can continue to measure my part. Start sending data. So once I come to the end, I'm going to click over and start single sending again. And go on to my next bottle. So then it calculates the average for each bottle, the minimum, etc., and color codes the grid. So with this method, I do have to click when I'm starting a new column, um, but it's a quick way of kind of choosing where you want to send the data. So the next way I'm going to show you is how to do grid space settings. So if you choose single send setup, grid space settings, Choose your increment direction. Again, I want to go by row. Enter the number of rows. I have five. The start column is going to be C. And the start row is going to be 10. So I don't want column and row headings because I already have them set up. But I do want to use the existing spreadsheet. And you click OK. So now you can take your reading and this is nice because it'll automatically increment once I get to my last. And then same thing, it does my average, my minimum and color codes my grid. So now I can actually save the Excel spreadsheet. So I can click File and then Save As. I'll just save this to my desktop. So I'll call it Bottle Measurements. So then if I close the program, On my desktop, I now have that Excel. I can open it up, and I have all my data.